Hi, welcome to the overview video for Vision AI Assistant, providing visual anomaly detection to the Aviva Operations Control Portfolio. Vision AI Assistant allows you, our customers, to quickly and easily use existing camera feeds or good images and videos to train AI models, which can then automatically generate an alert when the camera sees something that deviates from what's expected, effectively turning that camera into a visual sensor and providing you valuable insights to the operation of your production facilities, process lines, or other automated and monitored equipment. Vision AI Assistant allows for integration with both System Platform and Aviva Insight, and can publish notifications when anomaly is detected, helping direct the operator's attention to these potentially important issues. This release of Vision AI Assistant provides two analytics modes, anomaly detection and discrete state detection. Anomaly detection is best used where you want to detect any deviation from a known good state, such as manufacturing defects or intruder detection. Discrete state detection is targeted for applications where there are two known states, and you want the model to identify which one is presented. For example, batch detection. There are a variety of use case examples, encompassing quality, operations, and maintenance applications. For quality applications, we can use cameras to identify quality issues or to ensure quality control. For example, to determine the quality of the fluid in water treatment. In operations, we can use infrared or thermal cameras to determine visual anomalies, for example, detecting an assembly line jam. Cameras can also be used in areas not suitable for humans because of security or safety concerns. In maintenance applications, we can deploy cameras that can be used to continuously monitor a certain section of the plant and provide early warnings, days, weeks, or months before failure. For example, overhead transportation using chains or carts. To highlight the ease of use of Vision AI Assistant, here's a preview of the configuration workflow. First, we create a skill, select the type, and give it a name. Then I import images for training by selecting an existing data set and label these as good data. Once they're loaded, we can inspect and see that they all represent slight variations of the good quality outcome. Now it's time to train using our good data set. For anomaly detection, this is very quick. Now we need to connect a camera, which in this case, I'm using a data set of images to simulate a camera. However, the workflow to link a real camera is just as straightforward. Now the skill's ready to preview. We can turn it on and adjust any of the properties as necessary. When we're ready, we can simply deploy the skill so it runs in a production state. We can enable publishing to Aviva Insight news feed here, and then configure the asset, new frequency, and publish rate. I'll fast forward a bit here until we've got a few anomalies classified. Now we can review these anomalies and provide feedback accordingly. Here we can provide a thumbs down vote to anything that shouldn't be an anomaly and retrain the skill accordingly. Vision AI Assistant also provides integration with Aviva System Platform and OMI through a REST API data connection as well as a new Vision AI Assistant OMI app. This app provides an operational view where the user can see anomalies and classifications that have been performed by the Vision AI Assistant service and review the associated image classification results. This can be used alongside the existing Insight AI OMI app. This app provides visualization of the Insight newsfeed stories within OMI, which can now include visual anomalies published to Insight from Vision AI Assistant. In contrast, the Vision AI Assistant web client, which we saw earlier, provides a full configuration, training, preview, deployment, review, and retraining functions. Vision AI Assistant is being made available exclusively through a Viva Flex subscription, with eligible system platform customers now able to download it from the software support site. Thanks for your time. Have a good day.